Well done, James. Gordini there won the mayor's uh, maiden. Uh, that's her second run. She ran a couple of weeks ago in Dama House behind a very impressive mayor of Dennis Murphy. So she's obviously improved since that. Yeah, we went up that day up to uh, Westmead, Davy, and um, we jumped off a little upside in front. Uh, maybe a little keen, a bit fresh the first day, and probably took the run. So she came here today, won very, very well. Came from out the back to join up and upside in front, going to the second last. Uh, got in deep to the second last, made a little bit of a mistake, but would very, very strong coming home. She's a good male now after that. Uh, she got a flyer at the last end to, to overtake yes. Paul Powers, who so probably made a bit of a mistake, but she, she was doing her best work home. Paul's run was a little slow at the last, and I, and I was good and quick at it. Went away on one by three lanes. Uh, we think a lot of that, we always had a lot of them. That's good. Things are going well for you this season so yeah, far? Yeah, that's my third win on Audi so far, so yeah. Keep it away, keep them the winners, keep the name up down. <laughs> that's good. Well done, James. Yeah. Jim Key, very impressive, probably one of the best four-year-olds winners so far this season, in my own opinion. Uh, you dropped in, you were very patient with him, and uh, geez, he absolutely bolted up. Yeah, David, he'd, um, he's, his homework was very good. John Staunton is my next-door neighbour, and I've ridden his horse in lots of his work and schooling and everything. He's just a very fast horse, and uh, the uh, the pace he showed was exceptional. Yeah, I think mm. I'd say it could be. He's a son of Shantou. Yeah, yeah, and he was a cheap purchase. He was bought in Doncaster for 11000 so he's quite exciting, yeah, really looking forward to him now. He was very good as well. Yeah, a different type of horse uh, as opposed to Jim, Jim Key. He's quite speedy. Uh, Kieran Purcell's horse is a stout staying horse. Okay. He, he'd appreciate soft ground and a good staying jumping horse. But uh, likewise, he, he, all these horses have different niches when they go forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a good staying horse now and loves soft ground as well. He was galloping all the way through the line today. He was quite nice. Uh, he inexperienced, you know, and it showed a little bit green run down to last there. But uh, again, a nice horse. Uh, again, a big, huge, big horse, 16 3. Uh, he'd appreciate a big galloping track and mm. a good staying horse. Uh, yeah. he, he, he's nice now. That was a nice performance. Sorry, my fault. The colours caught me. Yeah. Um, the track here now, since it's changed, how do you think it's riding? They've done a great job. Uh, it's a huge addition to the, to the point point circuit. Uh, I think when the ground develops more and it's consistent, we're racing from the old ground, which is beautiful, mm. soft ground, and the new surface is riding a little bit quicker than that but when it develops and matures over the next couple of years it's going to be one of the best tracks in the country very good and um, those three horses now will they go to a sale now yeah uh, I, i've spoken with all owners and uh, so with the art and sale on thursday it's the goss uk art and sale uh, so all three owners and you know when, when it's so close to the sale you don't have much time to play with mm. but god willing all three horses are fine in the morning and they will come to the sale uh, there's a big team of horses on that sale then next week yeah yeah we've I'd say some 65 to 70 horses. Mm. So uh, we really need a good sale, a uh, good trade, good clearance rate, and uh, keeps the whole uh, show on, on the road, you know. Uh, but I think it will. There's good demand out there at the moment for, for horses in England, especially. Good uh, drum a hand tomorrow then? Drum a hand tomorrow, so let's see how we go. Good stuff. Well done today. Thank you very much. and he was good today galloped right to the line uh yeah no he's um he's a horse i've worked him a few times for for colin and uh kind of liked him and to be honest uh things didn't happen the last day in drum hand but um you know it's, it's it's great to have someone like luke that's that's going to mind the horse uh he pulled him up without giving him an overly hard race when things didn't go right and he's come here today on the back of that being a fresh horse so um yeah no we we were we were excited now to get him out there today and he's done his job well and Got a bit tight to the last, it's just the track has changed here in the zona and um, it's a bit different and it's a long way now, it's a different track now, it's a long way from the back of the second last out the gap into the last so he had a little look at the last but uh, no, got the job done and you know he's a, he's a lovely horse going forward, Blue Brazil as well so yeah, lovely.
Uh, I know Colin's a very good friend of yours, you're not being biased, but he does a super job with these horses, doesn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, he's brilliant. Look at, um, yeah, I know Colin a long, long time, where I nearly know him longer than I know myself, like, you know, he's that. But um, he uh, he does a brilliant job, he's got great facilities down there, and um, yeah, look at, he's, uh, he's top class, he's a great horseman, really, he rode a lot of winners himself, and yeah, uh, he's steeped in it as well, his family down there, all the motorways, like, they're just serious horse people, you know. Uh, yesterday at Tattersall's the online sale was on, went well, um, Ginto Horse of Gordon Elliott who you won in Tattersall's sold for a lot of money yesterday, I'm sure um, everybody's happy with that. Yeah, um, look we, we um, it was great to get the first sale underway, um, we had a couple of real good horses, Donick and, and Gordon's obviously, uh, and they sold quite well and um, but look at it, it was just nice to get a sale um, underway and, and, and get the season up and going and, and see where we're at. Like we've a lot of horses left over due to last year. So we kind of just want to get the, get the thing rolling now and, and uh, kick on now into, into December. Like we're, we're going to roll into Newmarket now on, on the 3rd of December. So really looking forward to that. Selling point of pointers over there now. I think it's going to be class like, you know, so. Um, but yeah, uh, Ginto sold well. And he's going to a good home, back to gardens uh, for Noel Moore, Noel and Valerie. So yeah, 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 he's very nice. I wasn't in Tarsals that day, I was in Drumahan, so I didn't get to talk to you, but he looked very impressive and I'm, I'm sure he, he is a very impressive horse. Yeah, look at um, his work at home, have been top class, Dave. Um, you know, he was a, he's a walk in the park, he was a 60 grand store and, um, you know, he just stands up a noble horse. And, Look, we, we, we hope he kind of keeps improving and, and, and continues to do what, what he's been doing at home and if he does that he's a great chance of being a very good horse and uh, but look at it's a little bit of luck at the end of the day but um, we're delighted to have him back in gardens there and, and uh, you know he's excited now bumper now and maybe Christmas time or a little bit after and see go from there. Good, uh, no bumper in Navin tomorrow, where are you pointing, pointing tomorrow? Uh, going to uh, Knock Mullen House tomorrow. Um, I've only a couple of rides, uh, four year old for Gordon, and um, yeah, she's maybe that's it now. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I maybe one for Dennis and Murphy as well, uh, but nothing. Uh, nice, nice fame and glory of Gordon's, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll kick on now. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it works out as well as this today. One from one today, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like watering, it's selective, isn't it? So, <laughs> well done, Jamie. Thanks, David. Thank you. Go on, Go on Nile! Go on, Go on Nile! Go on, Niall! Go on, Niall! Go on, Jerry! Go on, Jerry! Go on, Niall! Well done, Adam. That's your second career winner, Arctic Comet, uh, winning the last race here today. Uh, you must be delighted. Yeah, thanks, Davey. Yeah, it was nice now to get back one back again after such a long time without having one. He did it very well now. He did, he battled well from the back of the last the whole way to the line. Back of the way, um, I was always travelling very easy through it and running down the back, I said, I thought there'd be nothing beat the horse and I got, got to Barry Stone upside in front. Barry Stone's half back and mad. Yeah. And I thought it was a very game, uh, it was very tough. And where are you based every day now, Adam? Um, based with John Joseph Murphy in Shannon. Yeah, it's very good, they're teaching me a lot and I don't have to run loads, it's not just happen there.